again, my friends. I'm reading an article that showing that something's wrong in the land of Islam. It's an article on the sun. That's bananas. Pop star Shima jailed for two years in Egypt over sexually explicit music video showing her eating a banana. An Egyptian pop star has been banged up for two years over a sexually explicit music video showing her eating a banana. Singer Shima was sentenced yesterday by a court in Cairo for inciting debauchery <laughs> with the racy clip, a judicial source said. Shima was arrested on November 18th after complaints about the video for her song, I Have Issues, cops said. Well, she certainly has issues now. In the video, she appears in a mock classroom licking an apple and suggestively eating a banana in front of a chalkboard scrawled with class of number 69. Yume 7 newspaper covered the controversial video's release, writing, Singer Shima presents a lesson in depravity to youths. In a Facebook post at the time, Shima apologized for the video and said she had not anticipated the backlash. I bet she didn't. She wrote, I didn't imagine, see, she didn't imagine, I didn't imagine all this would happen and that I would be subjected to such a strong attack from everyone. Shima also claimed the director of the video, who was sentenced to two years in prison as well, in absentia, <laughs> smart guy, he's not in the country, included the controversial scenes without her consent. Oh, I get it. But it was not enough to save her, and she was convicted of inciting debauchery and producing a video harming public morality. In addition to their jail sentences, Shima and director Muhammad Gamal were also fined 10,000, I guess, Egyptian pounds, which they have here, 420 pounds each. Not that bad. They probably made a min off the video. Both can appeal the ruling. The authorities under President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi have cracked down on some artists in Egypt using wide-ranging morality laws. Now, it seems that what Shima did in her video was haram. And it's her fault that the old pervs in her society that marry children get excited by seeing her and they can't control themselves. So it's her fault. On the website Why Islam, which appears to be a pro-Islam website, they talk about morality and they say, I quote, Islam as a comprehensive way of life encompasses a complete moral system that is an important aspect of its worldview. We live in an age where good and evil are often looked at as relative concepts. True. Islam, however, holds that moral positions are not relative and instead defines a universal standard by which actions may be deemed moral or immoral. In some ways, I agree with that. It's good to have standards and stick by them. However, these are entrenched values that will never change, a moral system that will never change. And there are things that most of us throughout history will agree to, such as murder and theft are immoral and not good. There, there has been a moral arc over hundreds of years and things that were considered immoral several hundred years ago are wrong. And we're dealing with males and females, how men saw women or people based upon the color of their skin, being able to marry each other in Western societies, probably all over the world. So things have changed. It's good that we update what we consider our moral code to fit in with the realities of modern society. I do not think we should backtrack and say, okay, murder is now moral. But when Islam is completely and utterly intransigent and cemented into a moral worldview that will never change, we see that the society that has Islam at its core and Sharia law at the law of the land will not grow with the rest of the West, the civilized West, now, I realize that doesn't sound polite, but you have to understand sometimes you can't be polite about brutal cultures that treat at least half the population very poorly and see things that are considered, we consider immoral now, child brides are considered immoral in the West, whereas it's still okay in a lot of Islamic societies. So they can't update their morality based on what used to be bad is now good shows they don't have the ability to be part 
of what is good in a modern society. I tip my hat to Shima, even though she claims that she had no part in the dirty scenes in the video. She's pretty good looking. You didn't hear her voice in this video. I kept it out, but you saw a few clips from the video. Thank you once again. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.